Audu, Belahi, Vinash, Shaitani Rajim, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Brothers and sisters, welcome to today's video blog. We see in today's society individuals who floss their money. Different terminologies we create for our money. The C note, a twomp, a lot of other different terminologies we come up with. Your dubs, your not, your kitty. But money itself is an illusion. And as we understand, it's one of the major proponents in deception. See, in today's video of blogs, your eyes see something, but they see not what they think they see. Everywhere you look, people want the wealth. They want money in order to get themselves to a proposed position. But that is false. Because in reality, Allah is in control of everyone's position and stature. See, the Muslim believes that it's Allah who increases and decreases us in wealth. So with this obvious fluctuation in our provision or our risk, we as Muslims understand that wealth is something fleeting, transitory, in many ways not even real. But the government, people, societies, countries base everything on currency. Why? Man's love for greed is what shaitan uses to destroy communities, societies, and families. So is wealth really something positive? It's not what the eyes perceive. In some cases, it's good. In some cases, it's bad. Overall, it's not the money that makes people. It's people that make money. In reality, it's a construct in the mind that ties us into different systems and keeps us devoted to the infrastructure. The ghetto. Being from Detroit, I love my people. Detroit, Michigan. Motown, Motor City, the place where your car is made. But lately, Hurricane Katrina, Haiti, and some of the riots in the inner cities of Detroit and Los Angeles historically have caused a sort of a stigma in the inner cities that many of my people cannot escape. It's sad, but you see images of the hoods and there's terminologies that have evolved. Your thug, your hood rats, your different pimps, gangsters. This is the imagery you get when you think of the ghetto. But in reality, I tell you from the bottom of my heart, in my neighborhood and in the hood, there are wonderful people. See, it's time to eradicate the myth and get down to business. People are good and evil. But the ghetto is far from evil. The term itself was created to stigmatize the poor and the oppressed people within this nature's, nation's borders. Now, I'm not recommending you go down to your local ghetto anytime soon and try to, uh, what's the better word, navigate the streets. But I am suggesting you to connect with your Muslim brothers and sisters who practice Islam in inner cities and pray, mix a lot with them, and join them in their struggles. For the cry and tragedies have gone on too long in many of our inner cities. Chicago is a shot to you. Atlanta, a shot to you. All the other nations in the East Coast, as well as the Brooklyn, the boroughs within New York, this shot is for you. Even L.A., West Coast, Crenshaw, Oakland, 
shoot it out to my, my, na my nation's cities, hoping that you hear me. Stay strong. Last but not least, we deal with food. Food, instead of saying, will you take fries with that? It'd be better to say, would you take lies with that? Smooth, ooh, mm. food, mm. the taste, the smells, I'm loving it. Don't let your mind get juked. That's the number one line when it comes to that number nine. Ordering that number nine in that drive through is that meat tender or is that meat Meat. <laughs> You're going for the okie doke when you get down with fast food. Your mind gets juked. Deception really plays in. Because the smell of the food, is that really the food that you smell or a chemical? There's a fragrance that's international. You can look it up on the internet. That basically produces every smell down to pine saw and the same smell that's in your food. Oh, that's right. It gets worse. Within many of the french fries, particularly one of the devils, McDonald's, in a book called Fast Food Nation, many can read this. The fries themselves are filled with a plastic substitute in order to ensure that all the flies float on top of the oil. That's right. They have to put plastic in the flies so they can float on top to increase productivity. Well, let's talk beef. With the cow, that we say is cow with the fast food joints, hmm, did you know that one patty contains over 500, I don't have enough fingers for that, pieces of cow? How can I say this more directly? That burger at the fast food joint more than likely comes from 500 different cows, all in one patty. Think of love for halal. And there are people in the world who crave this. There was a time when I was one. Processed food is gaining a horrible history within the states. What's going on is it's causing a lot of obesity, empty calories, and it's also causing different forms of diseases. One of those diseases are plaguing children. Children are being affected by diabetes. So the food that nourishes us, the food that we see in front of us that looks delicious, is not really the most nutritious. Both men and women get caught up in this quick, transitory existence and just invest so much in it that they lose their way. That the deceptions of the eyes Take us away from what is more valuable in life, which as the Muslims know, is remembrance of Allah, subhanAllah ta'ala. This world has a plug and play system, just like your PlayStation. When you step on the arena, pick up the console, you plug your controller in. After plugging your controller in, you feel like you're participating. This is one of the reasons why commercialization and things that we see in front of us is very easy to ingest. The food that's toxic is very easy to ingest. And the lies that are put in commercial are very easy to ingest. A plug and play society. This means if you have low self-esteem, don't worry about it. You can still participate. If you don't have charisma for life or even the will to explore spirituality, it's okay, because it's plug and play. Islam offers the solution. This life of this world is nothing but pomp and play, glitter, for those who want to indulge. But the real life, the real reality, exists in the akhirah, which is the life to come. The only thing that follows us to our graves is our good deeds. Let's use our real eye to see through realities that are false. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.